Hello children, how are you all? Are you all doing well? Yes, welcome back to my story session. Today, um, guess the story what we are going to have? Yes, can you see something back of me? Wow, a very big blue ocean and a lot of penguins. So it's a story about a penguin, the little brave penguin. And its name is Pingu, Pingu, Pingu. Yes, it's the Pingu penguin. The story about this penguin today we are going to listen. Okay, so once upon a time in the Antarctic Ocean, you know how it looks children? It's a very big ocean, it's a very big sea and you can see lots of icebergs, it's full of ice. If you go there, you cannot stand, you'll be shivering, trembling, it's cold, oh my God, and you don't know how people survive over there. And what sort of creatures, animals or birds live there, do you know children? Yes, one of the birds are penguins, then we have polar bears, the grizzly bears, and then we have seals, which, you know, crawl and they look very silky, silky color, like structure. And then we find, um, what else we'll find children there? These are all sort of creatures, right? So it's very difficult to live there, children. It's very difficult because it's very, 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 very cold. You cannot bear that cold. In our country, we don't find such climate also. So in such type of place, there lived a penguin called Penny. This is a mummy penguin. Her name is Penny. What's her name? Penny. And it gave birth to a little cute baby penguin. And it named the penguin as Pingu. As I said, it's a Pingu penguin. Both mommy and baby are very, 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 very happy. So, and what happened? This baby penguin is taking rest in the home. It's a newborn baby and it's at home. And for so many days, it's at home. It is very comfortable, cozy. Mommy always cuddling her, giving her warmth, giving her food, fish and all that. So the baby penguin is very, very, very happy in that climatic conditions and atmosphere. It's not feeling the cold. Why? Because mommy is giving her a lot of warmth and it's living in a dark place. It gave the baby, the mother penguin gave birth to baby penguin in a very dark place. So it's very comfortable, warmth. So this baby penguin, this pingu doesn't know how the ocean actually looks like. What is the outside world? Who will be living in that? Nothing it knows. So it is slowly growing, growing, growing. So one day, mommy penguin Penny came and took it to baby penguin. My dear Pingu, my dear Pingu, please come out, my dear Pingu. It's the time to catch the fish. Now you are enough grown up. You can come out and see the world, how it is. And also you have to learn swimming. You have to learn to catch the fish. Okay, my dear Pingu. Then Pingu said, oh, What, mommy? What are you saying? Oh my God, I have to come out. No, mommy, no. I'm very comfortable here. I'm very happy when I'm sleeping with you. I'm feeling a lot of warmth and you're giving me food. I'm very happy. I just want to live like this, mommy. Then Penny, Penguin said, No, Pingu, no, you cannot say that. See, we have to survive, we have to live by getting food. We should not sit alone. We cannot get food. If we sit here, you have to come out. You have to learn flying. You have to get your own food. Tomorrow, I'm not there. What you will do, my dear Pingu? Please, you should not say that. 
and I will teach you how to swim. You do not worry. The mummy penguin said. Then Pingu said, Okay, mummy, you are there, so I'll be coming out. And slowly, the baby penguin has come out. And it saw the big outside world. It's like big ocean. It saw a lot of penguins, a lot of seals, a lot of fish, a lot of bears. Oh my God, what a huge world it is. And I'm scared. Oh my God, I just want to go back. But back of her mommy is there. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's learn, let's learn. You understand, you will understand. Then it came out. And slowly, mommy penguin said, you just open your wings, flap your wings and start flying, my dear Pingu. Then Pingu started flying and it fell down. Again, it started flapping its wings. Again, it fell down. But the third time, it slowly started learning flying, flying and it also felt excited. Oh my God, I'm able to fly. I'm able to fly. I'm able to fly. And it started flying. It felt very happy. Then mummy penguin was very happy. It said, my dear Pingu, you have learned so fast and see how exciting and thrilling it is. So you should not worry for the first time. You have to try. And then Pingu started going and flying and it met so many penguins there. It's so excited. And also it started catching the fish too. A baby penguin catching a baby fish. So happy. so happy. Mommy penguin is so happy and so relaxed. Oh my God, my baby learned to fly and now it will get its own food also. So both are very, very happy and this baby penguin also started doing hard work, getting its food. Sometimes, you know, this penguin started bringing food to mommy penguin also. So penny penguin and and Pingu Penguin both are very, very, very happy. So this is the story of the little brave penguin, Pingu. So children, what's the moral of the story? Yes, you should not be afraid of the things. For the first time, everything looks difficult. But once you try, things will become easy. And later on, you can do your own things. So trying is the best thing you have to do. You should try. Without trying, you cannot say like, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. It is, nothing is impossible. I am always possible. You should feel that. Okay, children. This is the moral of the story. Hope you enjoyed the story. Yes or no, children? See how the penguin started uh, diving. Can you see the picture? Yes, it started flying down. You see, that's it. Okay, children. Bye for today. Enjoy your time. Take care of yourself. Stay home.